In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to properly calculate the profit margin on one of your appetizers, or it could be a main dish or a dessert. Same formula will be followed for all three of these. So the first step that you're going to do is you're gonna locate the recipe for one of the items on your menu. So for the sake of example here, we'll be using the chocolate chip cookie recipe for this one. Once I have found a recipe, I'm gonna take all the ingredients that are listed here and I'm going to put them into the spreadsheet right over here. The second thing I'm going to do is then I'm going to write down how much is needed from this recipe card. So for this example here, it looks like for flour, I need three cups of flour. So I would put this to be three, and then I would continue on to make sure all this is correct. If it's less than a whole number, just convert the, the fraction into a decimal uh, for the value for that one. So once I have found the ingredients, I listed all the individual size prices of the amount of ingredient that I need. Now it's time to start finding the actual ingredients. And since we want to buy in bulk to keep the price down, we're going to start putting this information in. So for the example here, we're going to focus on flour. If we were to go to a whole wholesale store, we could see that this bag of flour is 25 pounds and it's going for $6.48. So we would put the 25 pounds in here. We would put the total price of the container, which is that 25 pound bag to $6.48. The next step that we need to do is we need to convert 25 pounds into the proper measurement size. Since this is asking for cups, we need to convert from pounds to cups. So all we would need to do for this one is just find a conversion uh, calculator to help with this. So if we were doing for flour and we have a 25 pound bag and we want to convert that into cups, we would then see at 25 pounds mm -hmm. it would convert into 78.21 US cups. So that's the number that we would put into here. And then it'll automatically, uh, based on the formulas that are there, put that together. So this gives us a, a really good idea of for three cups, it's only going to cost us 25 cents for this batch. Also, it breaks it down to find out what does it cost per cup as well. Now, let's look at the next one here. If we did baking soda and we were to type that in, we would find that the amount that this place is selling it for is $6.92, so for 15 pounds. So we would go in, we'd write the 692, we would say that this is 15 pounds, and the conversion is from pounds, and the recipe is asking for teaspoons, which we see listed here. And so now, we're gonna convert pounds to teaspoons. So we'll go back to our chart, our conversion table, and we're going to take 15 pounds, and we're going to go to where it has baking soda, and we'll find that there is 1,417.48 teaspoons in a 15 pound bag. So we're going to go here. And to make this easier on ourselves, we're just going to um, leave it at that. We're not going to get the pers the point decimal on this one. So now we have 14,000 or 1,471. So when it divides it out, it's only going to cost 0 0.005, so less than a cent. And we only need one teaspoon for this order. And then we now have the total amount here. You're going to go through and do this with all of your different ingredients that are here. And this part here that we find it that what's highlighted in orange has a formula already in it, so there is no need for you to have to put formula in. Once this entire column here is added up, it will equal here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at the recipe card, and I'm gonna see how many does this actually make. And based on 
the information that's provided here, it makes a total amount of 24 servings. So the number we're going to put here is going to be 24. And we're going to find out that it's going to cost 12 cents per cookie to make. Now that we have this amount here, we're going to go down here and we're going to put in 0.12 for 12 cents. And then this serving size is going to be dependent on what you guys have on the menu. So let's say that you were going to have five on a plate. You would then put that in there. And now it's going to cost you 60 cents total in order for this serving. Once you have this serving, now you're ready to go to the total cost for the appetizer, which is already connected here. Then you'll manually put in. So maybe you're charging $5. And then it's going to automatically provide for you the profit, what you're going to make on this dollar wise, and then also the profit margin as a percentage. So for this example, at 60 cents for this one, at selling at $5, you'll make $4.40 profit, and which is going to be converted into an 88% profit margin. So please make sure that you go back and watch this video again when needed to be able to convert and put all your ingredients in order to get the proper profit margin. If you find that your profit margin is lower than what you like, just simply increase the sale price for that item in order to increase the profit margin. If you have any further questions, let me know.